Okay, so how much is too much when it comes to coffee consumption? Some of us, and I would probably put myself in this category, are coffee addicts. A lot of us don't want to admit it, dare I say. That's why I recruited Olivia Rose, naturopathic doctor, to help me. I have decided why I've decided this. I have no idea, <laughs> reluctantly I might add, to sort of cut out coffee for 30 days. I want to find out, are there healthy alternatives? What can you do to maintain the energy levels to get through the day? And a lot of parents, a lot of people are, are feeling the same way too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, so I mean, here's the challenge. thing though. When you look at coffee consumption, you know, there are a lot of studies saying that coffee is actually good for you. Yes. I'm sure there are limits to that. Yes, for Explain. sure. Yes, so there are some studies that show it can be beneficial for heart health, can be beneficial for Parkinson's disease, okay. but uh, the, the safe limit is about 300 milligrams of caffeine per day, and that's the equivalent of about, of about two to three cups. And I see you laughing, because I know you said that you have about four-ish, and I'm not sure exactly what that looks like. I put the ish as a very, <laughs> it's an open-ended definition. Yeah. Well, look, I, I mean, yeah. I get up at 3.30 in the morning. Yes. Understandable. And I go to bed probably too late. Yes. So it's one of those things. So what can you, know, what can you do? You have to so, find something to get through the day. And yeah. you, pe unfortunately, people do that in replacement of water exactly. and everything else, right? Yeah, and that creates so dehydration. So first thing you want to do is figure out what the issue could be. So if it's that you're not getting to sleep, on time, right. try to go to bed at a more decent hour, which is difficult, I know, because you wake up yeah. at like 3.30, fine. Lofty uh, ambition. But, but in general, when I'm looking at patients, is their iron low? Is there something going on with their thyroid? Are they missing some B12? Those are other ways that, the other things that could be affecting their energy during the day. So you want to make sure you're also eating regularly and eating um, healthy meals. And every three to four hours that you're regulating your blood sugar and insulin levels and giving yourself that good real energy that you need. Okay, so okay. break so down some of the thing things that you recommend for me okay. uh, or anyone really in, in yeah. terms of what they should do to replace. So first thing you want to do is cut down slowly. So you can first start by just reducing the size of your container that you're using okay. and then you want to switch to decaf but choose a decaf that's going to be chemical free. So a Swiss water method decaf okay, and that's so really key. Weaning process. So that's the weaning process. the weaning process. You want to do that first and while you're doing that you want to start to take maybe some supplements. So for you I recommended a B complex mm -hmm. to increase your energy and increase your mood because with the withdrawal symptoms, you sometimes can get depressed and get cranky, and we don't want that, me, right? Me, come on. Uh, we don't I want know, that, right? So we don't want that. I spoke to you. I, I spoke to Christine anyway. <laughs> and then adrenal, because one thing that caffeine does, it does increase your levels of your stress hormone. Yes. And so that's your cortisol. And so um, what you want to do is provide your adrenal glands with, with the nutrients that they need to um, to function better. Okay. So that's going to be things like these are basic B things, vitamins, right? vitamin C. Exactly. You want to replace your electrolytes because one thing that caffeine does as well, it does. It's a diuretic, so it does increase the elimination of water. And these things. Exactly. Are a life saver. It's, they're awesome. Yes. NRC. So there's there's uh, it's a natural electrolyte replacement. You add it to your water. You can add it to mm. your smoothie. Um, it has potassium, calcium, magnesium, right? So you can do that throughout the day as well. Okay. Um, and so. Um, we you yeah, have a smoothie in the morning, for example. Yeah. So I made you a smoothie today. Oh, thank you. Right. An easy easy method to make a smoothie would be. Um, one part green, mm -hmm. one part fruit, add in some something like chia or hemp. Mm -hmm. Don't complicate high, them, right? Don't complicate it and then water or something like almond milk or whatever liquid you want to, to use. Okay. Very, very simple. Now for the record, yep. over the past couple of days I've been weaning, you know, I'm gonna officially mm -hmm. start this, I think tomorrow. Well, well, you said February 1st. Right? Yeah, I know, but I picked the shortest month, maybe for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so I actually feel a lot better. Yes, that's a lot right. better. I have much more energy, and yeah. you know, I've replaced it's it with real energy, vitamin. Right? It feels, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's the thing. Coffee, you feel that you know momentary thing, but it drags you down after yeah, a while. It does, and then it leads to then you're you're reliant on it, and you have to have it every day to to pick you up. And oh. We want to avoid that. Okay, I wish we had more time, but we're going to mm. keep everyone updated. So I'm going to be beginning this. Uh, you can go to my Twitter uh, Twitter handle. It's Anthony Robart and hashtag No Coffee Challenge. And also your Twitter uh, handle is Urban Naturopath. Yes, that's right. Okay, so. Olivia's going to be giving me tips and I'll Keep send them along track. as well. Keep me on track and I'll give you updates uh, along the way over the, past, over the next 30 days. And see we'll see how it goes. Yay! I'm not promising I'm, I'm going to cut this out. Yes. But we'll see. Take it day by day. Day by day. All right. Most Olivia Rose, time. thank you so much. We'll be back after <laughs> Thanks this. Thanks for having me.